the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What a great feast and what a great day, dear brothers and sisters. The Sunday of Orthodoxy comes to embrace us with a powerful message. A message that the Lord created this world and that visibility and the fact that we can see the possibility of seeing and the art of seeing is something that the Lord wanted to be part of our human existence and constitution. And especially in the day of, uh, in an age of multimedia illusions, the church brings in front of us with this feast a beautiful reality, the image and an icon and offers to us, instead of idolatry of self or selfies, the iconicity, the true image, the image of the God-man. And especially today, dear brothers and sisters, when we are forced justifiably to wear masks, we see how precious is the image of human face and the person of man. And that's because before the creation of this world, when the Lord was wishing to create human beings, he had in his mind and better in his heart, the image of Christ who will be incarnated one day and come to save us as our savior, as a truly human and truly divine person. But in our age, we wonder what is the true image or what is the true icon? Because there are so many images in this image polluted atmosphere that people feel so fed up with imagery and with images around us. Well, any image, even the uh, images made through our photographic logic and technology, they have value. But at the same time, dear brothers and sisters, they cry out for their redemption because what our photographic logic creates in our memories is just dwelling on the past. That's what images do they remind us of past events as opposed to that the church offers to us the image called icon or icon which refers not only to the past memories but also to the future in the church we're invited called and encouraged to see in our brethren the future brothers and sisters as they will be revealed to us in the kingdom, kingdom of God. And that's why in our tradition, we do not simply venerate icons. If we just venerate the, the objects around us by passing by and neglecting our brethren, then we do not respect the image of God or the icons. We are invited to see in our brethren not only a true human person, but also to see God because of their being created in the image of God. In the old Christian tradition at the, in the first centuries, uh, there was a saying, you've seen a man, through him you have seen your God. Because God wants to reveal him, himself to our brethren, to our neighbors. If we neglect that dimension of our life, which is our immediate neighbors, we will not respect the icons. So this feast comes to us to remind us of our likeness in the image of God. 
and also to invite us to embrace more fully and sincerely both the God-man, Christ himself, and also the community of saints, which is the church, because cannot, Christ cannot be separated from his body. And uh, by seeing you here today gathered and seeing your faces, I thank God for this truly magnific magnificent gift of the image or icon. And we pray that one day everyone will be revealed as God imagined and meant that him to be or her to be, which is the future kingdom. Meanwhile, we live in history and we struggle as the prophets and many righteous people mentioned in today's epistle did in the past. And that's how they justi were justified by their faith. And today we celebrate the faith, the triumph of uh, our orthodoxy revealed in the faith in the icon and the image of Christ who is our true God, who in himself bears and reveals the Father so that we can say whoever has seen Christ has seen the Father and has seen the Trinity. To him belongs all glory into the ages of ages. Amen.